Welcome everybody. This is an introduction to my theater room, our family's theater room. We moved in this house about five, six months ago back in September. Had a unfinished basement. So we refinished it. Here's a little pieces of decor we got from uh, Hobby Lobby, the Cinema and Mitt One lights up. As you go down the steps, I bought a nice little couple pieces of decor. And then we go right into the bar area. Got a little fridge. I just put a very simple bar in because later on I want to go back and do something uh, pretty extravagant with uh, some natural woods. But for now, this is uh, a great little bar. I was able to put a wet sink in with a tile top, a little microwave. I have a little fridge right here with an ice bucket so that I can just grab ice and bring down here. Um, all of this was 100% unfinished. This wall here was um, concrete. There's concrete behind that, the interior wall, or uh, entire wall. Um, as you go down, this bathroom did not exist. We were able to put a uh, bathroom in with a shower. Really nice shower with two seats. Um, they mounted the shower head a little low, so I personally won't be using it. And my wife did some decorations in here. Turned out really nice. And then the floor transitions into carpet into the guest bedroom. Just a simple baseboard heater, cut down on some costs. Didn't really need anything extravagant in here. Um, got one control there. We got a closet with some lights as you can see my wife did some decorations we're still working on it we've got a cabinet that goes in this area and then goes right to the outside here to the backyard so but it's really nice when grandma comes over or her sister she has her own bathroom her bedroom a lot of places to go i think the kids are in here um, this is a nice addition. We had a propane line running outside for the barbecue, so we were able to put this uh, really nice fireplace in. A um, couple little pieces of decor here my wife put together. That's two full sets of pool balls and some darts up there. I still got a little work to do on the curtains. The curtains on this door are, are on order. And we've got the nice propane fireplace. Um, really good here's the candy section again another baseboard heater i know it doesn't make a lot of sense having candy in front of a baseboard heater but it hasn't been an issue during construction i had them put in these uh two cutouts it worked out good because they had to build out from the concrete wall so um i've still got to finish them but they've got their own lights i'll end up adding phillips hue lights to those and then i'll put shelves in there I just, my goal is to put some nice antique movie players in there. I just picked this one up from an antique store. But here's the theater room area. You can see the kids are over there watching. Um, pool table, courtesy of Golden West Games in Tacoma. Absolutely beautiful, um, full eight foot pool table. Really nice. And what we did is we built the riser here. Carter, go sit down. We built a riser that had two really good steps so nobody would fall. We put three seat craft chairs, full leather, um, motorized headrest, fully motorized. Um, really nice addition as the tray tables come off very easy. These plugs right here, you can just add the tray table to it. And you can also buy accessories like an iPad holder, a LED light, cigar holder, wine glass holder. And then each one of the chairs has storage in here. I actually have extra two extra tray tables that I don't use. I have a total of uh, one, two, three. I have a total of five of those. Also over here, they have USB um, plug plus illuminated buttons for the motorization they have led cup holders and underneath lighting carter can you turn that one on thank you turn it back off okay 
You can see drawback at the tray tables. I just cleaned that about five minutes ago and the fingerprints on it are pretty bad. So I did um, the riser, I did full insulation inside of it to create a base trap, which um, is actually working out really good for the sound. There's really no vibration at high levels. Um, and then here's our swivel couch chairs. These are by far my wife's favorite. Um, they do not have LEDs built in them, but the same type of holder. So we can use those tables over here. And you can see how thick this glass is for these tables that they came with. And uh, they're really, really sturdy, really nice. Um, Ottomans are all on rollers. And then these swivel very easy. Turned out really nice. And now for the wall, I have these great acoustic panels that I installed. And I built these just using a, you know, small like one by twos, built them four feet. And then here is the screen. It's a 100 inch. I got the screen off of Amazon. I apologize if I don't remember what it is. Um, kids are watching Trolls in 4K. Um, so talk about remotes. I have Apple TV Gen 2. I have Samsung 4K player. My Comcast Xfinity. My NAD receiver. I have a T758. And the Epson projector, it's a 5040UB. I didn't go with the, I think it's a UBE, the one that has the 4K wireless uh, HDMI, but I didn't go with that. I have two 3D glasses. And then here is a charging station for the Harmony Elite Remote, which makes all of these sit there and collect dust because I don't need them. I picked up this remote right here and I can tell you um, look at some of the YouTube videos on there some of the people did a really good job um, you can see I have my NAD receiver Comcast Samsung Apple I can even control my lights through here I can control my nest upstairs for the thermostat everything um, what I have component wise I'll go ahead and open this up I purchased this Omni mount design it came out of New York and I could tell you it's a great product. It has two built-in fans up top. I have my Apple Gen 2, my Comcast. I have a Furman um, lime conditioner. There's my NAD T758. I have my Samsung 4K and then you can see I have extra spots here I can add things to, PS4 and controllers that are wired in so they're constantly charging. Um, I won't pull it out right now, I'll do that in another video, but I put in plugs in the back for everything um, so it's, it's able to pull out and give me about two feet to work on, which was kind of my goal. I didn't want to have to disconnect things when I pulled it out. I have some old, and I say old, these are probably about 10 years old, clip speakers that I picked up a long time ago that I'm just having fill in here until I get my new front speakers, which is probably going to be the Bauer & Wilkins 600 series or maybe one step up. I did pick up the HTM, um, I'm pretty sure it's a 61, I'm trying to remember. Unbelievable, I'll pull this guys. off a really, second. Really great. Good job. I could hear you from a mile away. But this Bowers and Wilkins center channel is absolutely golden. Um, really, really added a lot to the system. Um, we'll put that back on in a second. Here's my other clips. And then for my mids, oh, that's kind of bright. Sorry about that. For my mids, I have the definitive technology 600 series this used to be my 5.1 system so what i did is i took two of them and put as the mids two as the rears i'm running dual subs i have a sony 12 inch powered sub here and i have a definitive technology 8 inch powered sub here i got a little cleanup i just hooked that up today 
I did wire in everything through the walls. So I have dual sub wires through the walls, all the speaker connections are in the walls. I put nice uh, plug connectors on it so it's real easy to go on and off. Here is the Epson 5040 I was telling you about. Um, if you're in the market for a projector and you don't want to spend $10,000 on a 4K projector, then that is a really good way to go. I have everything wired up. Alexa, tell Harmony to pause. First of all, mate, thanks for sharing. You gave me perspective on things. Okay. Oh, you can see it doesn't always work. I'll do a separate video of all the smart home. Every bulb down here is a Philips Hue bulb. As you can see, I have two colored bulbs above the bar. So I change those depending on what's going on. Um, I'm actually able to tell Alexa to turn off the entire entertainment center and I can walk out and the entertainment center will go off. So that's my theater room. Um, things I really like about this are, I just tried to decide which way to go on the configuration. I'm really glad I thought it through and there's, there's my little Bubba playing with uh, the pool balls. And the layout turned out really good so we're still able to watch TV. Um, many nights the kids come down watch a movie. My wife and I will play some pool. We'll turn the fireplace on and we did a Super Bowl party down here, kind of a show it off and, and we had probably, probably 40 people and it was very comfortable, worked out really well and then this is going back upstairs. So I hope everybody enjoyed my video on that. If you have any questions, please post them. Be more than glad to answer them and any suggestions or ideas on what I should do. I look forward to those too. Thank you.